and uh, I use Signal, as many of you here, and I've been using Signal for a long while. Uh, in fact, I have asked, pushed, convinced, and implored my friends, family, and colleagues to also use Signal, uh, as many of you have here. Who has, who has actually pushed their friends, family, etc., to use Signal? Yeah, okay. Was it easy? It was work, right? It was, it was, it was like, you had to put in some uh, elbow grease. Um, and I, I'm happy to say I was pretty effective at it too, uh, so that's good. And just to make it very clear, I do appreciate the free and quite solid service uh, that Signal offers, and I st still recommend it to people whose threat model you know, has the shape that Signal kind of fits into. Um, I also think that valid criticism is necessary for a healthy ecosystem, whether the ecosystem is moving or not. And criticizing Signal seems to have, like, seems to often be wrought with peril. Uh, talking about its problems often can end up in pushing people to way worse solutions. I'm not going to name them <coughs> Telegram, uh, but, but this, is, this is a real problem, right? We cannot have those conversations very often in the public uh, because there's a danger that people will misinterpret them and, and move to something that is actually actively putting them in danger. Uh, but thankfully, we are at a place and time where uh, I think it is reasonable to assume that most of us can somehow figure out that maybe you know, we can criticize a tool and still probably use it because it's still probably better than, uh, or almost certainly better than, than most of the uh, uh, similar tools available and, and popular. Uh, so maybe we could have this conversation now. And when I say a conversation, I, I, I mean it. We're going to have a conversation. You're not going to be just sleeping through a bunch of slides. Uh, one of the reasons for this is because this is my only slide. That's all you get. Everything else is me talking, and then hopefully you talking, and then, you know, magic might happen. Um, so, just to make it very clear, if any, and, uh, during this, like, at any point during this exercise, anyone here, here gets an urge to switch to WhatsApp, Telegram, or, oh, I was not supposed to name them, sorry, uh, to, to, to some other tools uh, and platforms, please wait a bit and just let's have a conversation later uh, 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 because threat models differ and, and, and all of that, right? Um, but I do consider most of those tools uh, lesser to signal outside very specific uh, uh, circumstances. Um, yeah, okay, so... Um, I'm just a random guy from the internet, hi. Uh, and I have my opinions, so I will lay out those opinions uh, on you. Uh, it is very important to understand that I have not designed a global system of communication that hundreds of millions of people are using successfully to evade, you know, and, and stay private and, on, and all of that. So take all of, uh, everything that I say with a solid amount of salt. Uh, uh, salt also improves flavor, so it might make actually palatable what I'm saying. Um, uh, so, I also have this crazy idea uh, that this should not just be my opinions, because that would be boring. Um, does anyone here have strong opinions about Signal? The, only that? That just... That, uh, yeah, okay. Well, we'll see what happens after, like, a, a little bit later. So, in December 2019, at 30, uh, 3063, at the Congress, uh, Moxie gave a talk uh, uh, imaginatively uh, entitled uh, Ecosystem, uh, Ecosystem is Moving, uh, which was exactly the same title he used for a blog post he wrote three years prior about exactly the same subject and basically having exactly the same content. Uh, however, this talk came and went, and then there was the Q&A session where you know, five micro uh, microphones had a line 
each mile long or a kilometer long or whatever you want to, however you want to measure this line, uh, uh, the, the length of the line. And I think only three questions were asked and then the Q&A was shut down. So what I would like to do is to have this Q&A now. Like we didn't get to have this Q&A with Moxie. So I would like to give the opportunity to have this Q&A with me. I'm not going to answer like Moxie would have, but I think it's a conversation that we should have had and we never got to have. And I find that, I find that annoying. So I would, I would like to propose somewhat of a reverse talk where the Q&A will start basically immediately. If anyone has an opinion to share already, please step up to the microphone and, and, and we'll, we'll, uh, huh? uh, and we'll go from there. Uh, I hope that this will offer uh, a little bit of a group therapy because I, I do feel, um, uh, so, uh, yeah, so I do feel that we were denied this conversation. I do feel we have things bottled in or uh, inside about Signal and I think we, it, would be, it would be useful to uh, uh, share them. Last disclaimer, I promise, I know those disclaimers are you know, mile long again. Uh, this is, all I'm, all I'm saying is my personal opinions. I'm not doing a uh, threat analysis or, you know, threat modeling or a proper audit of signal in any sense of the word. This is just one guy from the internet uh, uh, talking about his opinions about signal and hopefully more people will join and, uh, and we will have this uh, group therapy together. Uh, so I'll start because I already am with like with the microphone um, and I will say that personally my biggest gripe with signal is that it is a centralized service right it is a good service it is a useful service it is effective in what it does but it's still a centralized service um, and of course Moxie has uh, has given very good reasons for it and all of those reasons boil basically down to control right you need uh, he feels or that's what he says or, 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 and writes, that he just needs to have the control or signal developers have to have control over the ecosystem and over the, over the app. And the basic argument goes something like this. Making sure that signal keeps working on all the platforms it supports um, is already a lot of work, and that's true. Uh, adding federation to the mix, adding you know, the ability to say, oh, you know, anyone can set up a server, and this, this server, the, these servers will talk to any other signal server and you will be able to have you know, accounts on your own server and talk to other servers. Uh, that adds a level, a, a layer, um, a layer com of, of complexity and it would make it even more difficult to roll out new features and important bug fixes and, and all of that. And the argument continues, in effect com competing with WhatsApp and telegrams of this world would not be possible or would not be as easy or well as uh, it will be way more difficult uh, and of course moxie is not wrong right it would make it more difficult adding federation to the mix to the mix would in fact make things more complicated and it would make it harder to innovate fast that said anyone is familiar with the phrase move fast and break things like does it have a good vibe it has a it has like it leaves a bad taste in your mouth, I think, right? I don't think, I don't think tools and services as important as Signal, and I think we can all agree that Signal is pretty important, and maybe some of us can agree that Signal is effectively infrastructure for many of us, right? It's not just a service we use. It, for many, re like for, for many of us, it is part of our infrastructure that we're using every day. Um, uh, I don't think we want our infrastructure to be uh, managed in the move fast and break things manner, right? I think, uh, I think we might, we might uh, agree on that. Uh, and also, um, yes, not, using, like, not adding federation makes things a little bit easier, but you know what would also make things easier? Not adding encryption. Right? It would be way easier to write signal if there was no encryption in it. Like, that's a level of complexity. So I think it's not a question of shying away of, uh, from complexity. It is a choice that was made. Right? Um, and I don't think that's a, that's a very good choice. Uh, of course, 
Moxie says that these things are difficult and complex and, and, and to some extent impossible, perhaps. Uh, and then there's Matrix, and then there's the Fediverse, and there's the, like, plenty of federated decentralized protocols that are able to innovate, right? are able to move on, are able to uh, add things, uh, you know, have multiple clients that are not con tightly controlled by a single organization, can have multiple servers that are controlled not by a single uh, organization, and yet they move on. They, 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 they add features, they uh, make, make exciting things, right? And of course, neither Ma Matrix or, or Fediverse are exactly in the same niche as Signal, but they are still an example of, of protocols that, um, that are um, uh, able to do this, right? Uh, another thing that was mentioned in his talk at 3063 uh, was reliability as a, as a reason for centralization, right? He, he gave this convoluted example of, uh, oh no, what if one server goes down and then pulls all the servers down together? And that's a weird example to give if you're, if you're talking about a federated service, because I don't know about you, but if, a, if an email server goes down somewhere randomly in the world, and I'm pretty sure this happens all the time, that doesn't really affect my ability to use email, unless it is my email server, or the email server that my account is on, or the person that I'm talking to, right? So it is, it is interesting to me that, uh, that the argument of reliability is used in the context of a centralized service, which is, in effect, a monoculture. Right? Monoculture, um, monocultures are not resilient. Monocultures tend to have, uh, tend to have problems uh, uh, because they are a monoculture. Uh, whereas a decentralized ecosystem of, of servers and services that talk to each other but are not run by the same organization, are not using exactly the same software, tend to be a little bit more resilient, even if some part of them of those servers are always uh, perhaps, uh, perhaps down, right? And finally for this part, uh, as much as Moxie likes to use email as an example of a protocol quote unquote stuck in the 90s, uh, the fact that it is a protocol that has been serving us for half a century already, like email has been with us for half a century. Is there here, is, is here anyone who is older than that? Okay, that's a bad question. Don't, don't ignore, ignore, that. ignore that. Let's ignore that. Um, uh, so the fact that this is a protocol that has been serving us and serving us well for what it, what it is used, used for, uh, for half a century, that's, that's some staying power, right? Meanwhile, we can, I think, all imagine or remember uh, many, many different uh, protocols and systems and like centralized services that went away uh, um, over the last uh, 10 years, 20 years, right? Tech secure. Like text secure, thank you. Wait, oh no. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Um, no, like Google Plus, for example, right? Anybody remembers Google Plus? Yes, anybody remembers Google Plus fondly? Thank you. I rest my case. <laughs> so, so, hey, you were warned, this is a rant. Uh, so, <laughs> Uh, there is also a comment uh, from, uh, from Moxie. This was supposed to be about Signal and it's about Moxie. Well, that happens. Uh, uh, a comment from Moxie in a GitHub thread uh, about uh, Libra Signal. So, do you remember, does anyone remember Libra Signal? Anybody used Libra Signal? Anyone? Yeah, okay, there are people. Anyone remembers uh, Libra, Sig Libra Signal fondly? Yeah, there's, there's a hand, there's a hand, yay, okay, okay, yes. Um, so the comment is, and that was about blocking Libra Signal uh, from using Signal's servers, right? The comment is, I'm not okay with Libra Signal using our servers, and I'm not okay with Libra Signal using the name Signal. Okay, fair. Uh, you're free to use our source code for whatever you would like under the terms of the license, but you're not entitled to use our name and the service that we run. If you think running servers is difficult and expensive, you're right. Ask yourself why you feel entitled for us, uh, uh, for us to run them for your product. Um, I have an answer to this, actually, uh, that I came up with, finally. And the answer is, again, who here has pushed, talked, con conversed, suggested, etc., people to use Signal? And how much work was this? Who here was paid by Signal to do this? 
thank you. Uh, again, I rest my case, right? This is, the point, the point is, this is an ecosystem, right? This is a community. And I think makers of Signal try to f treat this as a product and customers. Yes, we get the service for free. That is absolutely true. Many of us donate to, 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 to Signal also, right? Who has donated to Signal? Yay. OK, right? Um, so not everyone gets this for free. Uh, but there's also a lot of work that we have put into making Signal what it is today, right? This is not a one-sided thing. This is not a one-sided, uh, uh, this is not a, you know, company that makes a product that people use or not use, right? This is a, this is supposedly a community. This is a free and open source software product, uh, I mean, project. And this is one of the reasons why many of us have been suggesting it, pushing it, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, to other, uh, to other people. And that is free work, right? That, that, uh, that we're uh, donating to, uh, to Signal. Um, Another thing, um, and another thing, uh, another thing is uh, another side of centralization is not just the federated side, right? It's not just like, can I run my own server? But it's also, can I run a different client for Signal? Like Libra Signal, right? Like Whisperfish on Selfish OS, which like, there is no official uh, uh, Signal client for, for Selfish OS, right? Like many other, uh, uh, m m m many other potential um, I think there was a Molly IM, uh, which was also a, a, a signal compatible client, right? It isn't anymore, unfortunately. Uh, and so the other side of centralization is the client side, right? I would like to be able to choose a different client, right? Why would I like to maybe perhaps be able to choose a different signal client, especially on the desktop? I don't know. I don't know. I, I remember sitting and staring at this screen for five minutes once. Like five minutes, there was no major update. It just, it just decided, you know what? We have time. It's fine, right? No rush. Your messages will arrive eventually. You know, uh, let's be a little bit zen about this. Um, so I would like to be able to choose a different client because maybe a different client will have also additional features, right? Wait. Innovation can happen in a situation where there are other players? That is shocking to me, I think, right? Uh, but also, I would like to be able to choose a different client in a situation where the client that I am using has removed some features or, modif or, or changed its behavior in a way that I find annoying, right? Let's say uh, a feature gets removed that you relied on for whatever reason, right? Signal developers decide, you know what? It's, it's too difficult to keep it in the, in the code right now for us. Uh, but why block this ability, uh, like why block other developers from, from doing this, right? Why say, you know what, it's, more, it's too difficult for us, but hey, you know, go ahead, why not, right? It's not, not big of a deal for us. Uh, no, you, you cannot do this, right? Or let's say a, 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 a signal client removes a translation of like in the language, in your native language, right? And you cannot, you do not have the option of choosing a different client that maybe perhaps supports this particular translation. Suddenly, depending on, on your ability to use different other languages, you might not be able to use uh, Signal, uh, Signal fully. Um, the third thing that I'm going to say is, again, Signal Desktop. Signal Desktop is the bane of, of, of my existence sometimes. Uh, and um, it is obviously an Electron app. So you cannot run it on a, uh, on a machine that has less than four gigabytes of RAM dedicated specifically to it, right? You have to have enough RAM for the operating system. You have to have enough RAM for everything else you're, do you're doing, which will be about a gig. And then you have to have four gigs for, for Signal specifically, right? Um, uh, but like, OK, that, that's fine. I guess, I guess those, those images uh, are, are heavy and, uh, and, and all of that. Um, but why, why can't we have a native client, right? Why can't we have a client that is not based on a browser and is usually tracking this browser, what, two versions behind? How much time? 10 minutes, okay. I'll be, I'll be wrapping up so that we can have more questions. Uh, why can't we have a client that is not tracking 
a, uh, a browser, uh, a, a very well-known, uh, uh, um, let's say, target for people who might want to, uh, might, might want to do big, bad things. So the fact that Signal basically tracks a browser a few versions behind means that there are probably known vulnerabilities <laughs> that are fixed in the browser, but then they have to be fixed in Electron, and then they get fixed in Signal. Right? There's a bigger window of opportunity here for, uh, for, uh, for uh, let's say, malicious behavior. And I would like to have a native client instead right? that, is, that does not have this, um, this particular problem. Right? But what uh, the bright side is, at least we got stickers. Right? So I guess that's good. Uh, one last, one last uh, uh, um, thing I will throw at you before I will invite people to, to crowd the one microphone, I guess, one, one, uh, is feature creep. Feature creep is real, right? Uh, and I, am, I started wondering a while ago, is Signal still a, a, an encrypted messaging app, or is it becoming a social network? And the reason why I started asking this is because you know groups are becoming big, and, and I mean it's great that groups can be great and, and huge, but I feel like more and more features are slowly uh, being added that gravitate the signal towards a social uh, social network more than an IM. And these are two different tools, and I need signal. For example, me personally, again, my opinion, guy from the internet. Uh, I need Signal to be the encrypted IM that it was supposed to be from the start. Because if it stops being a good IM to become a good social network, I will have to switch. I will have to have a good IM somehow. And I will not have this, or, or nobody will have this opportunity because those clients are, you know, the, only the blessed clients can be, can be used. So my question is, at, so at which point the feature creep becomes too much? Right, and and maybe maybe it would make sense to uh, focus um, more on uh, you know making this work, allowing some um, allowing some independent native clients to uh, to emerge and and and, and thrive uh, instead of uh, instead of focusing on feature creep. Um, I guess one can hope that Briar will get better uh, and 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 stuff. But yeah. So, anybody has opinions? Yes, please. Yay! I wasn't wrong. I thought people will have opinions. Now let's see if the opinions are about Signal or me. So, oh, my great review. Uh, so I would like to add furthermore that if you go to Signal web page and press Get App. It gets you to Google Play or App Store, and that's the only way to get the app. Uh, you cannot just download the app uh, or build it and... Okay, you, you could build it. Uh, the thing is, it's not distributed by F-Droid. It includes uh, Google services, and not everyone is okay with them. And as we know, Signal blocks third-party clients. So yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, I, I will vehemently agree with you, with one, uh, with one uh, different, like with one uh, caveat is that uh, you can download the app. I think it's signal.org/slash app, you know, slash Android/slash something. Okay. If you know the URL, you can download the the APK. Some time ago, <laughs> some time ago, I was trying and I couldn't. Just Anybody couldn't. remembers the URL? <laughs> slash Android slash APK. There you go. So, yeah, but like it's it's like in the basement, the second door to the left, there's a tiger. You know, this kind of stuff, right? Meanwhile, the Evil Telegram lets <laughs> you have third parties, lets you download from wherever you want, even. Telegram itself releases on uh, F-Droid, yeah. and they're okay with that. Yeah, absolutely. I, I would love to see Signal on F-Droid, but please, please, yeah. uh, also leave some time for the next. <laughs> Thanks. So, so um, several comments. So there's um, there's Wire, which I believe is generally they they they're very engaged with the MLS project. MLS is the messaging layer security project. It's essentially trying to come up with uh, anyway 
if you're interested in this stuff, you should know about MLS. Um, the and the there's um, okay. But anyway, but about Signal itself, the I mean, Moxie has a certain position and whatever whatever it is. But the m my objection was much more narrow. Was always specifically that um, Moxie was complaining about the the upgrade problem. Essentially, that was his core objection, was that he wasn't going to be able to upgrade the thing, and that the nature of the software is complicated enough that he did need to be able to upgrade it. The second statement here is true. It's absolutely true that he did need to be able to upgrade it. He did need to be able to kill off third-party clients to do something complicated. That's just going to be the inherent sure. in being able to change cryptography. Can you, can you get to the point? Because yes, there's, sorry, there's a lot. <laughs> anyway, the, 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 th the, the, the thing is, is that if you want a perfect example of somebody who does this and makes it work is Tor. Yeah. They, they do have an upgrade path. And there's others with complex, complex upgrade paths. Yeah, there are, ways, there are ways to do this, right? Yes, it adds a little bit of complexity, but it is possible. It doesn't stop you completely from doing it. And I agree. Yes. Next. Well, add another thing. Rawr. I like your shirt. Thank you. And also, I don't like having to use my phone number to use Signal. Yes. And the reason I don't like that is because I don't want to use the same identity for all of my communications. And I find that people are picking up Signal more and more. We're using it for all sorts of things. We're using it for socializing. We're using it for work. We're using it for this, that, and the other. I want to have different personas. And fully, obtaining new phone numbers is hard. Fully, fully agreed. Uh, but since now I'm, I'm, I'm on the receiving end of this, I will put, like, defend it a little bit. There is now a way to migrate uh, between phone numbers, at least. So yay. <laughs> Uh, and, there is, uh, uh, and there is now, uh, there, I think Signal is slowly moving towards a phone-less identity. And they're like, let's hope this happens. But uh, yeah, could have been prioritized maybe? Yes. So while I agree that Signal does have some weak points, I want to play the devil's advocate a bit and say that I don't think the comparison with email is fair at all. Moxie used it. I took it straight from his talk yeah, yeah, and straight okay. from his blog post. Yes, but, <laughs> but like from a concrete perspective, email evolved in a very different system, and we only still use email because all the alternatives somewhat dies. So we will only know what, which messaging system will survive, will survive in 50 years, in 50 years. And also another small point I want to make is that there is this good, ugly truth that, truth that uh, cryptography is hard and usability matters. And Signal did manage to make a usable product with excellent cryptography. Absolutely. And that's why you use it. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. absolutely. We agree. <laughs> like, as, I said, for the next as I said at the beginning, I appreciate the product. I use the product. I, I, I strongly you know, suggest the product to like, the Signal to many people. But just we need to air this stuff. And Moxie didn't give us the chance, so I'm a stand-in. Yes? So, fun fact. Uh, people really think that, uh, like, because of the stuff with Libra Signal a while ago, that uh, third-party third clients really aren't allowed, but there's a lot of them right now. For, there's Gurk. Uh, Please closer a, to the mic. Sorry. Uh, Gurk is a, a desktop client written in Rust for the terminal. There's also Signal CLI and Signal D. Uh, then there's this other guy with uh, Molly.im. Yeah. A, a bunch of forks with like different. Uh, I I also help maintain a, a uh, Signal client to, uh, for for the command line in in Rust. They're all a huge pain because in fact the ecosystem does keep moving, um, but they're not as frowned upon as. Uh, they used to be, and also Moxie isn't that signal anymore. So that, like, uh, yeah. many of the things that have been taken taken for a given have, for a while have changed. Also, yeah, hopefully usernames launch before Fusion happens. Uh, uh, but the yeah. social aspects aren't going to like go less. There's a bunch of stuff in the code for like uh, stories and stuff like that. So yeah, thank you. Uh, one more response to the previous uh, question. 
in the blog post, uh, Moxie clearly says that there's no technical reason why Signal cannot be federated. Uh, um, it is a choice. It is a, like, the protocol is designed to be federated. It is, like, there's a choice that blocks that. Yes? We run over time, so this is the last one. Sorry? Yay! Can we have me. two? <laughs> Can we have two? No, I'm please. Otherwise, I get please. <laughs> Let's have two. OK. But Thank otherwise, there's, there's sufficient time after this, so please. Please be uh, quick. <laughs> I'm just wondering what will happen to the clear OS, which currently uh, ships a fork of Signal and or even calls it clear Signal or something like that. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> if Moxie does the same thing as he did five or six years ago with Libre Signal, he will also shut them down. I wonder if that happens. We'll see. Uh, you had a question. Be quick. I, I, I just wanted to say quickly that my main gripe with Signal is that it's too much of a Silicon Valley tech bro vibe to it. Thank you. You just called it a product. Yeah. I have a feeling that except for it being run by a non-profit, it could have been Facebook, it could have been Google. He tries to control it just as much as they do and tries to feature match uh, those products like WhatsApp and, and that kind of stuff. I agree. Thank you very much for that comment. I, I fully agree. And on that note, we have to uh, give a gr great round of applause to Richek. Thank you. Thank you.